Welcome to Cooking with Bobby Joe. I am so sorry we did not have a cooking video last week. We did not have a bird video last week either. I was really slacking. We've got a lot going on right now and I really do need to get back on schedule with my videos. So today I'm going to be cooking. Today I'm getting out my Lodge cast iron Dutch oven and I'm going to make a pot of chicken and dumplings. And this is so good when the weather's cold like it is right now. Normally, I use a whole chicken to make chicken and dumplings, but today I'm just going to be showing you how to do it with some chicken thighs. I've got my Dutch oven heating up on the stove. I'm adding about a tablespoon of butter in, and I'm going to let that melt. Then I'm going to sear the chicken thighs. I have seven chicken thighs, and I just sear each side for about three minutes. Then I pour in 32 ounces of chicken stock. And you can use chicken broth if you want, but I like to use chicken stock because it has less sodium than most of the chicken broth out there. Or if you're using a whole chicken, you're pretty much going to make your own broth so you won't need any of this. I'm going to fill the pot the rest of the way with water. I just fill this chicken stock container with water, shake it up to get any remaining chicken stock out, and I just pour it in there. I want the pot to be a little over half full with liquid, just a couple inches from the top. You want to make sure you save plenty of room for your dumplings. Now I'm adding in two bay leaves, one teaspoon of poultry seasoning, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of basil, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, and I'm going to mix it all together. And then let it boil until the thighs are done. And with these fresh thighs, it usually takes about 30 minutes. You can also add celery, onions, carrots, whatever other ingredients you want. I'm going to be sharing this with some family, so I'm keeping all the veggies out. Because some people like some things, and some people like other things. And it's just easier to leave it all out and make it simple. Okay, now that the chicken thighs are done, I'm going to remove them from the pot. And then I'm going to add in 4 tablespoons of butter. I'm also adding cream of chicken soup. Now this is a family size can, but I'm only gonna use about half of it. You can use one normal size can. I think those are about 10 and a half ounces. I cannot remember, but they're about half the size of this and this is 20 something ounces. I'm gonna use a whisk to make sure I get all the clumps out. And while that heats up, I'm going to go ahead and debone the chicken thighs. Now, you do not want the skin or the bones. So, if you have skinless, boneless chicken thighs, you can save yourself this step. You just shred the chicken thighs. But I prefer it with the bones because I think it tastes better and it's juicier. Plus, I can make the dog some bone broth with the leftover bones. And they love bone broth over their dog food. Okay, so this is the shredded chicken I have. I'm going to add that back into the pot and I'm going to bring it to a boil. And while I'm waiting on that to come to a boil, I'm going to make my dumplings. Now, if you want to make this very easy and you want a shortcut, buy some canned biscuits and cut them into chunks. You can roll them out if you want it to be thinner, but you can just take those biscuits and cut them into four pieces. and You can throw those in there and be your dumplings. I like using Southern Biscuit Mix Formula L. I follow the recipe on the bag for biscuits, and it's just add buttermilk. And I cut these into small strips. 
And I'm also going to make some biscuits. That's why I have so much dough. I'm not going to need all of this for the dumplings. I go ahead and I make my biscuit dough up and I freeze it. That way when we want a biscuit, I can just pull two biscuits out of the freezer and bake them in the oven or the air fryer. But biscuit dough makes really good dumplings. Once it comes to a boil, then you can start dropping your dumplings in. Place the lid on for about five to eight minutes to let them cook good. The steam's going to cook the dumplings. If the broth still is not thick enough and you want it a little thicker, you can always take a teaspoon of cornstarch and a couple of teaspoons of water and mix it together and pour that in. Stir it until it thickens. That's what I'm going to do. I like mine a little thicker. And that's all there is to it. This is sure to be a crowd pleaser because even the picky eaters like this as long as you leave all those veggies out. Stay tuned next Wednesday as I am going to be redoing a recipe I did back when I first started my channel. It is a copycat hamburger helper rice oriental recipe. My older videos need some help. <laughs> it's fun going back and watching your older videos compared to what you do now. I think I had some measurements off in that video, so that's why I'm redoing it. We will find out in next week's video. Thanks so much for watching. Y'all stay warm and have a very blessed day.